Hello lovelies, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about shocking Audrey Hepburn scandals. So for some reason, I always, when I picture Audrey Hepburn, I always picture her kind of as a goody-goody and relatively clean in terms of a Hollywood movie star. She's very poised and graceful like a princess. I really didn't picture her to even have any scandals to be honest. She just has such a charming nature to her, her smile, kind of her delicate demeanor. And the first scandal is her background. So Audrey Hepburn was an agent of Dutch resistance. Amazingly, she was only a teen at the time. Unfortunately, her parents didn't share the same view as her. Their parents joined the British Union of Fascists. Probably you're thinking this is not a scandal at all. In fact, isn't it great that Audrey was able to stand up on her own? When Audrey Hepburn just began her journey as an actress, it would be troubling for her clean image if everyone knew about her parents. The war ended not long ago and everyone might be sensitive over it. Also, society was more prejudiced in the past, so they hid it from the press while publicizing her contribution during the war. There were a lot of things she did to support the resistance, such as performing ballet to get more funds. She even volunteered as a nurse at the age of 16 during World War II. Later in her old age, she volunteered to work for UNICEF. She was a great woman who cared a great deal about humanity. And scandal number two was Audrey Hepburn had an affair with William Holden. They began their affair during the filming of Sabrina. William Holden, her co-star, was a married man at the time. Even so, Audrey Hepburn was head over heels in love with William Holden, and so was William Holden. He was very entranced by the sophisticated beauty that is Audrey Hepburn. Apparently, Adris, Holden's wife, sensed this too. In most cases, she didn't mind his husband's womanizing behavior, but Audrey Hepburn was different. She was a threat to Audrey's marriage. Artists gave an ultimatum and demanded her husband to stop seeing Audrey Hepburn. In the end, this was hardly necessary. Like many other women, Audrey wanted to have children. It turned out that William Holden had a vasectomy. Audrey Hepburn was heartbroken when she found out, especially since William Holden knew how much it meant to her. She promptly ended her affair with William Holden. She reconciled with Mel Ferrer. The announcement of their engagement was done at Holden's house because Paramount wanted to ward rumors about her affair. Well, it probably was one awkward dinner. And another Audrey Hepburn scandal is Audrey Hepburn dated JFK before. Not many people know about Audrey Hepburn and JFK's rumored past relationship. After all, JFK's most popular picture is with Marilyn Monroe. Just like how people didn't know that Audrey Hepburn also sang the birthday song to the present a year after Marilyn Monroe. It was revealed that she dated JFK during his days as a senator when JFK was shot. It was said that the actress requested everyone to pray for him, went outside the carriage off stage and cried. Also one of JFK's favorite movies was Roman Holiday, the first movie she starred in. So perhaps the rumor might be true after all. Maybe we will never know for sure. Furthermore, JFK was notorious for fooling around with a lot of women. And scandal number two was her voice was dubbed over in the movie My Fair Lady. Audrey Hepburn, upon knowing it, was enraged since she was promised that the movie would use her voice for the singing parts. She promptly left the set that day. Then she came back the next day and apologized for the wicked behavior. She always blamed herself for not being able to sing the part and vowed to never act in a musical again. On a related note, the reason why she didn't get nominated for the Best Actress was because she didn't sing the vocal parts. And the next scandal is Audrey Hepburn smoked like a chimney. I guess this isn't necessarily a scandal, but she was a smoker like her character as Holly Golightly in her iconic movie Breakfast at Tiffany's. You might be surprised to know this fact. One wouldn't expect the sweet Audrey Hepburn to smoke, but here it is. As a matter of fact, Audrey Hepburn smoked three packs a day. She smoked to calm her nerves and relax. Moreover, at the time, smoking's dangers weren't known. Doctors even recommended it at the time. I'm actually quite shocked to find out Audrey Hepburn smoked three packs a day. Again, I don't know, I just didn't envision her as a smoker for some reason. And the next scandal is both Audrey Hepburn and Mel Ferrer cheated on each other. Cheating was rumored to be present on both sides. Mel Ferrer had a girlfriend. As for Audrey Hepburn, she cheated on him with her co-star Albert Finney. Eventually divorced after 14 years of marriage, she only spoke twice after the divorce with him. And the next scandal is Audrey and Andrea Dottie's infidelity. From her second marriage, they had a son named Luca Dottie. However, the happiness didn't last long. Andrea Dottie was a womanizer and he attracted the younger girls. Audrey, on the other hand, had an affair with Ben Gazzara, an actor. 
The marriage officially ended in 1982 after 13 years of being together. And the next scandal is she was almost married to a young British businessman. The young British businessman was none other than James Hansen. Audrey called off the wedding. Her wedding dress was the waist size of 21 inches was auctioned off. She did so because they were both too busy. Audrey was filming Roman Holiday at the time. As for James Hansen, he spent most of his time managing his business in England and Canada. She was also quoted saying that it would be difficult leading a normal married life in one of her interviews. So I was doing some more research online and I found an article about 10 handwritten letters that have surfaced as part of an upcoming auction. Audiences can get a first-hand glimpse of the Roman holidays actors' personal ups and downs, particularly the ones that shadowed her ascent from unknown British ballet dancer to the world's greatest film actresses. Then the 22-year-old wrote her friend and coach in 1951 while instead of Monte Carlo Baby, one of her first films, I'm in Monte Carlo working on a French picture, she says. The place is heavenly and this is the best thing that's ever happened to me. A year later, Audrey Hepburn became engaged to James Hansen while filming Roman Holiday. Reports that Audrey Hepburn was busy planning the wedding, rushing out of rehearsals to get her ivory satin gown fitted. And there's a letter saying, It was my heavy heart. I am writing to tell you James Hansen and I are no longer engaged. Hepburn wrote her friend. I know there is little I need to explain to you, a gentleman of this profession. For a year I thought it would be possible to make our combined lives and careers work out. It is all very unhappy making, but I am sure it is the only sensible decision. My schedule commits to a movie from here, then back to the stage, then back to Hollywood. James would be spending most of his time taking care of business in England and Canada. It would be very difficult for us to lead a normal married life. And not longer after the broken engagement and her Oscar win for Roman Holiday, the actress fell in love with American actor Mel Farrow, whom she met at a party. The two would go on to co-star together in a Broadway in One Dime. And in some other letters, ahead of their 1954 wedding in Switzerland, Hepburn wrote to Almer, inviting him to the top secret nuptials, which were to be held in a tiny chapel with a wedding breakfast after. How dearly we would love you to be with us on our wedding day, Hepburn wrote. We will have the car take you up to the mountain peak Friday for a gathering in our chalet of our nearest and dearest. Saturday will be the wedding. We want to keep it a dark secret in order to have it without the press. Sadly, Hepburn went on to suffer several miscarriages, one of which is said to have occurred when she fell off a horse while filming the 1961 film Unforgiven. When she became pregnant a third time, Hepburn reportedly stopped working for a year to ensure the health of her child. And upon delivering her first baby, Sean Hepburn Fur, she wrote Almer another letter to share her delightful news. Sean is truly a dream and I find it hard to believe he is really ours to keep, Hepburn wrote in a note dated August 17th, 1960, a month after his birth. I long to show him to you. We all three send you all our love. Hepburn and Ferrer would eventually divorce in 1968, 14 years after marriage. A presumed relief to Hepburn's mother, Hepburn's mother called Ferrer a frog-faced delinquent with the spindly legs and accused Ferrer, who married five times, of causing sufficient havoc to last a long time, she vented. I believe Audrey is getting rather sick of the neurotic side to him. There are 10 letters in total written between 1951 and 1960, and these were auctioned off for $6,000. So I really enjoyed finding out these scandals about Audrey Hepburn. To be honest, like I said before, I was kind of surprised by them. I just, for some reason, when I pictured her, I guess I'm just looking at her in terms of her roles on film. I just didn't picture her as being the affair type. So a lot of these were kind of surprising to me, especially the Sabrina one, because that's one of my favorite movies. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and let me know if you want me to research any other old Hollywood scandals. All right, I'll see you guys again soon. Bye. Also, if you love Audrey Hepburn, Utopia features a lot of Audrey Hepburn inspired fashion. And you can get the Audrey Hepburn sleep set from Breakfast at Tiffany's, as well as her outfits from Roman Holidays and even her black dress from Breakfast at Tiffany's. And if you use the promo code LAURAM21, you will receive 21% off your entire purchase, which is almost unheard of for Utopia. So if you're interested in old Hollywood inspired fashion and Audrey Hepburn, I highly recommend checking them out and I'll link this below in my description box.